You know, as Christians, we're, we're obsessed with sin. We feel like we have to break sin off of ourselves. We wonder where's the power and the authority of what Jesus did on the cross. The kingdom of God is about truth and life. It's not about the lie of that you have to stop sinning. It's about the truth of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. The kingdom of God is about power and authority. And we will experience that power and that authority when we remember who we are, when we remember who he is and who he says that we are to him. Paul says, behold, if anyone is in Christ Jesus, that one is a brand new creation. That means that something came into existence that never existed before. And behold, all the old things, the old you, dead and gone forevermore. See, God created a brand new creation within you, a dwelling place where he desires to live. And he made you brand new. There's no more work to be done there. But then we have a soul realm, a mind and a will and, and, and our desires. God is in the process of transforming our soul, our mind, our will and our emotions. It's in the hands of God and he is transforming that part of us. And then we have a flesh that it's not even in the process yet because we will be redeemed. We're, our flesh will become brand new when we meet Christ in the sky. But until then, we, we need to remember that we have a brand new spirit, a brand new dwelling place where the God, the Most High, desires to live. And we have a soul that's in the process. So remember who you are. Remember who God says you are. This is the key. He brought us from death into life. Did you know that just one look from our heart ravishes Jesus' heart? Song of Solomon 115 is so clear about that. He has great, great affections for us. I've spent the last 18 or 20 years culminating all of this teaching and bringing it together. And I've written it together in this book called Remember Who You Are. God wants us to remember who we are to Him and who He is to us.